Okay, everybody, that was Where I'm From by Queen V, Takun J, Nasserman, and Cypher the King. We're back at the radio LIB, and I'm your host, Tyler. And today we've got a special guest, Mr. Lincoln Ward, a.k.a. the legend, one of the engineers responsible for the creation of Radio LIB. Welcome, Mr. Ward. How are you doing today? Thanks yeah. for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Because we brought you on the show today because, you know, we figured uh, you could talk a little bit about the creation of the radio station, uh, what life was like in Liberia, and just, you know, um, just talk to our, our listeners for a little bit. Okay, yes, yeah, so uh, two, almost uh, three years ago, I started because uh, I've always been somebody that wants to help promote uh, my culture and uh, try to keep people involved. And uh, I had a couple websites at first, you know, trying to promote entertainment in Liberia. Um, one was called uh, LIB Africa, and another one was called IREPLIB.com. Oh, I heard of them. Um, and one day, a friend of mine called me, and uh, he told me about a friend of his who was uh, trying to start uh, an online radio station. So, you know, we called him up, and uh, we were talking to him, and we decided that we were going to do our own thing. So we started with a, a free shot casting. Um, it was called Listen to My Radio. Uh, you know, and we've been doing that for a little while and we decided that if we're gonna if we incorporate Skype, you know, people could call us outside from the United States uh, for free. So, you know, we did that and after about three years now I'm proud to say it's really huge and uh, people from all over the world listen. Um, you know, I'm talking China, Iraq, uh, Lebanon, everywhere. Oh, and, um, actually right now we're gonna join with DJ Phil because I believe there's actually someone calling the radio station right now. Yes we do. Hey, we have a call all the way from China today. Hello, you're live with Radio L I B. How are you doing today? We're happy to have you on the show. Hi, uh, yeah, um I just wanted to say thank you. You know, thank you so much for for bringing me in. Um I love Liberia and I haven't heard music since so I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, this is my home and I just wanted to say thank you, you know, for, for bringing a piece of home back to me. Oh, you know, that's exactly why we do this. Uh, we try to focus mainly on Liberian and uh, African culture, uh, but, you know, we play other kinds of music, too, uh, you know, but it's really great that we can help people like you stay connected. Yeah, yeah definitely. Hey, caller, is there any particular song you'd like us to play for you? Yeah, I'd like to hear Poco Nocho by Sunday Guard Your Boy. It's one of my favorites. I'd like to dedicate it back to my brother in Liberia. I miss him so much. All right, you got it. Okay, and that was Poco Nojo for all you listeners out there. Um, we're back at Radio LIB with the legend for those of you that just joined us. He's here to talk with us a bit about the station's life and a little bit about Liberia. You know, Lincoln, tell us a bit about your family. Do you have any kids? You got a wife? You know, who's a lucky lady? Uh, yeah, I'm actually uh, married to uh, Yolanda Kobe more. Uh, you may have heard of her. She's a bit of a celebrity here at the University of Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah, that's one I think I heard of her before, actually. How did you and your wife meet? Uh, you know, so back when I was in school, uh, me and my friends were going to this party. And uh, we parted a lot back then, you know, not so much anymore. But uh, we were at this party at Brown, and uh, I saw this girl, and... <laughs> damn, that girl been damn. <laughs> I was like, myself like a little baby crying, like literally crying. Um, you know, I couldn't even cut the umbilical cord. I was crying too hard, so you know, the nurse had to do it. So just having someone like that that you can call your own and care for, it's, it's a joy. You know, and that's really touching. You know, uh, thank you for sharing your story with our listeners. So you said your daughter is four and not in school yet, I imagine. I was just wondering if you could talk a bit about what school was like for you back in Liberia. Uh, yeah, you know, in, uh, in fourth grade, I went to a boarding school. Um, I was living in the dorm, you know, it's just, it was, it was different having your own, your own little space, you know, your room, and then you just go to school. Um, and the school was called Funnelay Academy, and uh, it was a really decent school, uh, very well known, very expensive. Okay, and how were you doing in school? You know, were you the cool kid, were you smart, popular, the nerd? Uh, yeah, so I was at the top of my class, <laughs> I was on Dean's List, and you know, the thing was, in Liberia, uh, you know, when you were on Dean's List, it gave you special privileges, you know, it meant you were popular. Hey kids, time for lunch, come get your cookies. <laughs> Step right up front of the line. Yeah, how are you today? Good, how are you? Is that a cookie? Yeah, 
Oh, look, it's Lincoln. Ah, uh, Lincoln, step right up to the front. You get to cut the line. Get <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dean's list, Mr. Popular. Come here. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. Keep studying hard. I wish I studied hard so I could be more like Lincoln. That's all right. You can have a cookie, too. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I went to that school from fourth grade to seventh grade, and uh, that's when the war hit, the war, the war hit Monrovia, uh, December 24th, 1989. I'd like to hear you talk a little bit more about your experience with the war in Liberia, especially to those listeners out there who may not have had a first hand experience. But first, we're going to take a short break to play a song for you guys. All right, everybody, that was Sweetie Poom Poom by David Mell. Once again, we're back in Link with Lincoln Ward, and he was just talking about the first Liberian Civil War. Do you mind talking a little more on that? Okay, so yeah, you know, even up till now, uh, Liberia is kind of separated. You know, you have the, the poor people and you have, you know, some more rich people. And the Congo mostly were those people who their ancestors had come back from um, the United States back to Liberia. And, uh, you know, they had more money, they had nicer houses and whatnot. And uh, the native people were, you know, they weren't too fortunate. They didn't have, they didn't have a lot of money. And one of the main reasons why the Civil War started um, um, was because there was a lot of animosity, you know, towards the Congo people from the native people. And, uh, you know, the Congress came back from the United States and they thought they were better than them, so, you know, they were a little educated and whatnot. And, uh, you know, the natives didn't really like that, so when the Civil War started, most of the natives joined uh, the rebels against the <laughs> Okay, and amidst all of that conflict, did you or anyone in your family get caught up in the crossfires of the war? So, uh, yeah, um, you know, there was a coup, you know, somebody was trying to kill the president. And uh, my uncle at the time, he was a journalist in Liberia, you know, he was on the radio, on TV, giving news and stuff. And, uh, you know, he, they, uh, they actually captured the president and took him to the radio station where my uncle was at the time. And, you know, you know one thing led to another. And later that night, uh, the government troops actually freed the president. And, but see, the thing was, my uncle had had some information the president wanted. So he ended up getting killed. And, uh, you know, after that, my family was, uh, was very upset and didn't want to have much to do with uh, Liberia or the government after that. So they all just kind of left. That's a powerful story. Listeners, we have another break, but stay tuned. Okay, and once more, you know, we're back with Radio LIB, the legend. Hope you all enjoyed that last song, System Overload by B-Face. Um, you were just telling about, tell us about the Civil War and how people left Liberia. Um, can you talk to us about when you left and came to the States? Uh, yeah, sure. I came, I, left, I came to New York in uh, 1996, uh, and then I moved to Rhode Island where my mom was living. Okay, and uh, so what was your experience like? Was your first impression of America based on your previous expectations? Uh, you know, I was like, you know, you always think of America, you're like, oh, America's so great, it's so clean. You know, and there were even rumors that you come to America, you see uh, you see all the cars, you can just like hop in whenever you want. The key will be in the ignition, and you could just drive it wherever you need to go, and then just leave it there and somebody else would get it. And you know, I'm not really sure why, but like, I believed that. And you know, it just like wasn't expecting, wasn't what I was expecting. And you know, the street was, was very dirty. You know, I got here and I was like, you know, like, this is America? You know, it was very dirty and people weren't very friendly either. Yeah. So would you say it was a good or a bad experience? I, I would just say that what I had in my mind was different at the time. Okay, and uh, so you had mentioned earlier that you didn't get to finish school when you were in Liberia. <clears throat> what was your education experience like when you came to the States? Well, yeah, that's true. I didn't get to finish school because uh, I was 21 when I came over here, so I was too old. They wouldn't let me finish high school. So I ended up going to uh, the job board, and uh, when they let me finish my schooling, I could get my GED. Um, I was going to be an electrician, as I, was, I worked with an electrician in Liberia. Um, but I ended up not liking that, and I ended up going to Wayne State in Michigan to uh, do computer science, and I really enjoyed that and do that to this day. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned that you were really popular and got good grades in Liberia. Did that carry over when you came to the States, and were you that cool kid still? Uh, you know, so actually things didn't go too well when I first came over. Uh, you know, people weren't very friendly, calling me names. Because um, I was like the only African that you could tell because of my accent. Um, and people call me all kinds of names, like, you know, go back to Africa, you know, African booty scratch, you know, stuff like that. And I used to get mad a lot and get into a lot of fights. Um, but then, you know, I started to realize that people are just ignorant. And, like, there will always be people like that in this world. So it's something you have to ignore. But eventually, I joined the basketball team, and people started to accept me and I made fights. Oh, yo, what was that for, man? What? What was it that? You found me. No, it wasn't a foul. Oh, get, get out of here. So African, you African booty scratch you? You're African too. I ain't African. I don't speak like you. Whatever. I'm from America. Check the ball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got mad at Lil's. I'm sorry for the disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after that.
after that, I started to make more friends and became more accepted. And, uh, you know, that's it. Uh, thanks for listening today. You know, I have to go. My wife's here. We're going to go grab some lunch. No, no, all right. Well, before you go, are there any last things you want to say to our listeners, Jackie? Mean? Uh, yeah, you know, just keep listening to Radio LIB. Stay connected to Liberia. And uh, thanks for having me today. All right, that's it for interview today. Thanks again, Mr. Will, for coming in. Any last questions and DMs? Yeah, uh, I want you all to check out this hip hop song. It's called Police Man by Takum J. Um, he's a real big artist in Liberia right now. I'm just trying to get his name out there a little bit. So just get a listen real quick. You'll love it. Got it. Here it is, people. Thanks for the listening. <laughs>